What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Hello everyone, and welcome to a 20 minute sprint race in the iRacing Formula IR4 series. Today, we're racing at Spa, and if you're wondering what that introduction clip was all about, stick around to find out. This was a very eventful race, but enough with the talking, let's get on the grid. Alright everyone, uh, we're on the grid, ready to go. Um, qualified in uh, P12, right outside the top 10, it was a decent qualifying run, could have been better, could have been worse. Um, but yeah, the goal is to try and get a top 10, so... Yeah, let's see what happens. Um, had did a couple races here at Spa already earlier today, and yeah, it's quite challenging because of the carnage. There's always something happening on the first lap, whether it's a T1, whether it's at Lecombe, it gets pretty hot out there. So the goal is to just try and stay as clean as possible. And uh, yeah, survive the first lap. Let's go. Go, go, go! Decent start. Space on the inside. Let's claim the line. Left side. Clear left. And we're through. Now, it's gonna be a draft fast here. And Lecombe is incredibly dangerous. I really wanna get through it alive. So... He had a pretty bad run there out of uh, Orosh and that slowed me down. So number 23 behind is uh, gonna be able to come in on our inside. We're gonna let him go because I, I'm i not gonna battle him here on cold tires. We're gonna keep it nice and safe. These guys are all over the place. Don't mind losing a few positions in the first lap. As long as I don't get punted, I'm happy to lose a few positions and make it to the end of the lap. Someone's wide. Oh, uh, Alright, I had a terrible exit there because of the carnage, so... The guy behind me is gaining. First lap isn't over, so let's get stuck in. Lots of aggressive drivers here at Spa this week. Uh, I mean, the track just... It invites competition, it invites uh, overtakes, especially on these long straights with the draft. So, it'll be my mission to keep people out of draft range as much as I can throughout this race. The Alpha Tauri here with a nice little switcheroo. If they battle, that's good for me because that means I'm gonna be able to get close. Let's see, that's three positions gained on the first lap, so that's not too bad. Alright everyone, let's check out some highlights from the first lap and from race start. Off the bat, the leader gets a terrible start, doesn't move off the line, P3 has to take evasive action to the left to not ram straight into him. Fortunately, he manages and pretty much everybody gets through unskated out of turn 1. Several drivers going wide out on the left, but fair enough, the space is there. If you need to avoid a collision, use it. That's perfectly fine.
Here uh, we focus on uh, Ricobono in the Red Bull Liberate car. His car gets unsettled. He spins out, loses it. This is Luke in car number 16. And this curb, if you ride it too much, the bottom of your car will touch the ground. You will not be able to steer. As you can see, you will slam right into the barrier. And finally, Salazar in the purple car tries to take evasive action. But in doing so, he makes contact with Cyril in the white car. And unfortunately, this leads to both of them crashing out. So let's rejoin the live action in lap two slightly later than where we left off this is gonna be a nice four-way battle the alpha tower is wide might have gotten a slowdown for that so let's keep an eye out for that I'm keeping my braking sort of conservative because I don't want to risk rear-ending anybody. And also because if they spin I want to be able to dodge them. Let's try and get some toe here because Wiser behind is closing in. It's likely that we're gonna be side by side by the time we get to the chicane. These guys are gonna be side by side too though. Yeah, he's gonna make the move, isn't he? Hold your line. Still there. Still there. I'm a bit too wide, but I just wanted to make sure I gave him enough space. Fifteen minutes remaining, fifteen minutes to go. Focus on the exits. We can go faster here. Turn to position. That was a two twenty five. We did get the better exit here though. And if there is a long straight ahead. Not sure what I want to be side by side here. But it would be a nice idea before like home. Perfect. Oh, I thought he was gonna stick his nose in again, that's why I hesitated with the turn in, but he didn't, so fair play. Looks like a good fellow to race with, uh, Wiser. Alright, I need to catch up with Pereira here and try get Wiser out of my draft. He's in a battle of his own with Pritchard, who's only half a second behind him, so hopefully he's gonna have to do some defending. Which means I should be able to pull away from him a little bit. That was not a great line. Problem is that I'm not in Pereira's draft range, and Wiser is in mine. So, well, I can close in the gap though because Pereira is not in Stabler's draft range, so Pereira himself is not getting a toe, so that's alright. I just gotta put pressure on him. At least that's what I'm thinking. Let's pause the live action for a moment here, because in this very moment I made a huge mistake which is going to lead to another mistake, which we'll see in a moment. I'm not just referring to the fact that I had a terrible line coming out of turn 1 and I allowed Wazer to get side by side with me. In this very moment, as you can see, his car is right on our right side, but as you can see, I'm being informed uh, with the text on the screen uh, that I'm currently three wide. Pritchard 
0.1 seconds behind, aka two uh, car widths on my right is side by side with Wazer. So there's three of us all side by side. However, my awareness in this moment is very bad. I don't realize that this is happening because I'm basically tunnel visioning on Wazer on not hitting him um, and on rejoining the track. And so I just don't realize that Pritchard has entered the picture. Uh, I'm not reading the, the text on the screen. I'm mostly just looking at Wazer's car and I'm listening to what the spotter is saying in my headphone. He is not gonna mention uh, verbally that I'm three wide, so I'm completely gonna miss that information, and this is going to be crucial for what happens next. Still there. That was my bad. Still there. Looks like I'm not gonna be able to get rid of him after all. Whoa! No, I didn't see him at all. So, yup, that happened. <laughs> Obviously, I was gutted. I mean, my race had been going very well. I had no X's uh, up until this point as well. I was having a clean race and uh, I made a stupid mistake. I lost all my awareness. Uh, the spotter didn't say it out loud and I completely missed it. It was my own fault. I'm just happy that I didn't kill uh, Pritchard. That, that was the most important thing for me at this moment. But of course, it was awful because I lost... Uh, uh, I think 10 position so after this I'm basically gonna be in P19 and uh, yeah uh, guys if you make mistakes uh, sometimes when you're uh, racing and I racing uh, drop a like you know how it goes uh, and uh, yeah but stick around because the drama is far from over let's check out what happened around the track over the next two laps first of all uh, LM in car number 8 has a spin and that is us overtaking him right there. Then, Rico Bono in the Red Bull Liberate car spins at the uh, chicane. And once again, that is us catching up to him, uh, taking the inside line, going side by side. And uh, a little battle will ensue here. Uh, we're on top of Eau Rouge here and this is me overtaking him. He was going quite slow in a straight line, so it sort of looked like he picked up some damage as he was riding those curbs. Uh, this is Wiser, um, riding too much of that AstroTurf, it bottoms him out, he goes straight into the barrier. And this is Watson, uh, in order to avoid him, I suppose, he locked up on his brakes and uh, ended up against the barrier. Might the leaders be doing any better up ahead? Nope. This is uh, Shrop rear-ending Santos, so spinning him around. And this is Shears. I believe he tries to avoid Santos, but he plows right into him and flips his car right over. It's not over. Uh, this is Pereira and Rissom uh, getting into it as well. So, yeah. It was a whole party out there. And, uh, well, let's rejoin the live action. And as you can see, because of all that drama, I am currently two laps later in P13. I've almost regained all the positions that I've lost since I've made my big mistake. And uh, I'm currently sitting behind uh, Rico Bono, whom I've had a little bit of a battle earlier on uh, in uh, lap 5. Uh, we're only half a second behind and he does feel like he was going quite slow on straights, but I'm gonna switch back to my live cam and let's see what happens next. He's slow in a straight line. I think he's got some kind of wing damage or something. Push, push, push. We can get this position. I want to be ahead of him before the chicane. Car left. Still there. Whoa. Clear left. Dude! Clear left. That looks painful. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? So what I believe happened here is that as I got close to him and we were side by side, there must have been a little bit of net code which caused them to veer suddenly to the right and then causing the crash. 
I'm not sure whether he made this move intentionally. I doubt that. But, um, yeah, uh, it ended my race. Uh, this happened at the penultimate lap of the race. There was a white flag after this, so essentially I had to pit for over a minute. And, uh, yeah, um, it ended my race. I ended up finishing uh, P17. And, uh, yeah, it's a shame. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, I enjoyed this race for its story, for its drama, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to bring it to you guys, and if you enjoyed it, if you were entertained, uh, consider uh, liking the video and subscribing uh, for more of this type of content. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to check out uh, more successful races where I actually uh, managed to uh, contend for uh, higher positions uh, within the top 10 and the podium, check out my previous uh, videos. And uh, yeah, uh, have a great day everyone.